guys hey guys welcome back to sussex squad forever i hope you're all having an amazing day if you're new here please hit the subscribe button and guys kate and william at wimbledon looked like the most unhappily married couple ever and the press noticed everyone else noticed everyone saw just how miserable they looked together here is an article written by Kaiser titled the Wales's chemistry is ideal the future of the monarchy largely depends on it Wimbledon coverage is so enjoyable for me she says because it's a perfect Venn diagram for my overlapping interests royalty tennis and celebrities so this year there were several high profile comments about how William and Kate looked miserable with each other at the men's final. They used Charlotte and George as buffers. They barely acknowledged each other and their body language screams we don't even live together. The vibe is well and truly off, which is why the royal media has been in a rush to make it sound like there's nothing to see here. And here is what the Daily Fail wrote about it. Prince William was happy to let Kate Middleton take center stage at Wimbledon as they have struck the perfect balance in public, a royal expert has claimed. First of all, happy to let Kate Middleton take center stage. Does William look like someone who would let a woman steal his spotlight? It's just that he did not want to be seated anywhere close to her and oh my goodness William and Kate look like they have just been forced to sit together you can see the contrast between their relationship and Harry and Meghan's relationship when Harry and Meghan are spotted out together when they were spotted uh, running errands they were laughing smiling holding hands the way they look at each other just shows how much they love each other the way Kate and William look at each other like the nuisances in each other's lives it's really really sad honestly so royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told female that Prince William and Kate Middleton's dynamic at Wimbledon shows how they work superbly as a team wow when the couple arrived the prince of wales was pictured walking behind his wife and children with kate leading the group while holding charlotte's hand what's more kate also led the family into the royal box while prince william followed prince george commenting on the family's engagement yesterday richard said the prince and princess of wales work superbly as a team catherine was center stage because she is patron of all england lawn tennis club a tennis enthusiast herself the role is ideal for her. There is no question that Catherine radiated confidence. It has been a delight to see this grow over the years. The expert then went on to highlight how the prince and princess of Wales don't try to outshine each other in public, something that is believed to have been an issue in King Charles and Princess Diana's marriage. There is no comparison whatever to the desperately unhappily relationship between Charles and Diana and the perfect balance William and Catherine have struck. He continued they enjoy competing in games for fun and often do when on tour to the delight of their hosts but they do not compete with each other. This was a glorious Wimbledon final and the Willses were undoubtedly happy to be a pivotal part of it given Catherine's role as patron. Their chemistry together is ideal. It is also imperative that it is as the future of the monarchy largely depends on it. Wow. The Daily Fail are trying so hard to cover up that this marriage is well and done. This is over. Honestly, this is just over. Kate and William are the most unhappy couple in town. We saw Kate we can see the difference of how Kate was happy the last time she was there with someone else's husband, Roger Federer. The difference between when she went there with Roger Federer and when she's there with her husband. 
the difference is staggering oh my goodness she looks so unhappy with her husband but she looked so elated smiling giggling when she was with Roger Federer Kaiser goes on to say oh the chemistry is ideal it's also imperative that it is as the future of the monarchy largely depends on it the real reporters are like we're trying so we're trying as hard as we can to put a bow on this mess because the whole thing is falling apart if the wells's marriage collapses not not even two weeks if the wells's marriage collapses if the wells's marriage collapses not even two weeks ago william truly ran away from his wife when she tried to touch him at a polo match he looked like he despised her when she tried to grope his ass at the scottish coronation and now william and kate look like miserable strangers at wimbledon and now we're supposed to believe that's a good thing that william needs to be three seats away from kate lest she try to groping on camera again wow this marriage is well and truly over and the daily fail is just trying to cover up the fact that these two don't even like each other they're trying to save face but the entire world has seen the entire world has seen just how they relate with each other just you know the difference between how kate talks to other men how she behaves around other men and how she behaves when she's with her husband it's just shocking guys shocking 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 someone here says there is no chemistry he doesn't like her touch or to be with her unless forced tell the truth they don't live together and he has a side piece just like his dad someone else here says i've seen mismatched socks with more chemistry honestly this the wellses are just a couple of strangers spotted together they look like oh my goodness they can't wait to get out of there so that william can go to his house away from kate where he does not need to be close to her or interact with her in any capacity william is lying and cheating and parting and embarrassing kate at every turn he won't hold her hand he won't let her touch him every single time she tries to do something he is always there looking at her like why are you touching me avoiding her like the plague and now the daily fail is trying so hard to cover up the mess that is this marriage by trying to send a different message like we've said the daily mail is always trying to send a message that is not they are lying about the sussexes and they are trying to cover up the mess that is the royal family we already know who they work for who they are in bed with and the chemistry doesn't lie how they interact does not lie if they can even bring one of those body language experts they like to bring every single time to judge Harry and Meghan so that they can tell us exactly how these two do not like each other at all guys leave a comment down below on what you think about this failing marriage please like share and subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next episode bye